And here we are! Hello, everybody! Hello! Hello! Hey, Simon! <laughs> hey, Fede! And hey, Annika! Hi, how are you? So great I'm fine, to meet thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I'm really awesome. glad you guys! How are you? Hi, Annika! Uh, uh, we are good! Uh, we are just <laughs> trying to hold on. The situation is really weird right now. Numbers are growing up here in Italy, so it's uh, a little bitter as uh, as time right now. But we'll see. We'll try. We are trying to be as safe as possible. How are you doing? How's the situation in your hometown? Yeah, it's uh, getting a bit worse. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, another cities also. So we we wear masks and try to be safe also, and uh, hopefully mm -hmm. this disappears someday. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep yeah. our finger crossed and let's be uh, as cautious as possible. And uh, at the same time, just to try to give some company to our friends because uh, right now some some of our friends are still on a lockdown or are getting back yeah. in the lockdown so i think this is a good idea to keep some company to people who's interested in music and to new music and who are interested to discover some uh, new bands or talk with their musical heroes so uh, we are so happy to have here with us Annika Yalkanen of Moira, and uh, uh, it's a pleasure to have her here with us. We will talk a little bit about her career and, of course, about her band and their project. Um, yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Our thanks pleasure. You. At the same time, Fede, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I'm drinking water right now. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. vodka sure. or whatever. Okay, okay. as usual. As usual. And uh, yeah, because yeah, that's usually it. you drink vodka. What? Because usually you drink vo vodka. No, right? I ate vodka. I ate vodka. Oh, okay. you, you drink grappa. Like okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Grappa. Okay. Grappa is better. Yeah. better. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. we are getting in the spirit of the live chat. The spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And today I am I wear haircut, as you can see. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why, good. but... Oh, yeah, no, nice. it's not good, Simon. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I just try to do the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, shall um, we start, Pede? Yeah, we have some comments, by the way. Okay. Some greetings. Okay. For example, okay. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. And we have another greetings from Yanni. Say, Annika, yeah. Hey, Moika! <laughs> Great. Yeah. Now oh, we sorry. should start. Oh, hi, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> now we should start, I think, Simon. Okay, that's perfect. So, yeah. uh, Annika, here's the first question for you. It's a question about uh, your, your musical beginning. Uh, how did you start singing? When did you start singing and how? Sorry. <laughs> when and how? <laughs> uh, I think we have a problem. Ah, technical issue, oh. yeah. Yeah, some wait, technical wait. issues. Wait. Yeah, wait a minute. Just... Just in time on the, <laughs> uh, on the very first portion. <laughs> yeah. It happens. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty of the live chat. Today is a weird day. Don't you, Simon? 
Yeah, I think so. We had some problem also before, so that's the reason why we yeah. started a little bit later than the usual. But you know, everything can be resolved. Now we see if yeah. if we can come back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. She's back, sorry. So hey! <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Perfect. That's the beauty of a live chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but now I'm back. <laughs> so, <laughs> we stop uh, just in time <laughs> on the very first yeah. question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I started singing... Um, And we lost it again. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Oh, this is scary. Oh. Okay. Okay. We can hear you. You can hear me. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, I remember to um, that I made my own songs, singing something. Mm -hmm. Well, something that didn't even make any sense, but I just did my own songs, <laughs> and mm -hmm. I was the. Uh, yeah, five years old. And um, in elementary school, uh, I was in a choir. And, mm -hmm. um, and then when I was 16, I started my singing lessons. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And that. Now we are here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's great. So uh, you sing in a choir, you started to write your own songs, and you took some lessons when you were 16. That's good. Yeah. And uh, um, do, you, do you still uh, sing some of uh, your uh, uh, first song? <laughs> no, I don't remember all. I only remember one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm not singing that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a hit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I remember one song really clearly, but there were some others too, but I can't remember. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting <laughs> thing. Uh, Fender, do, do you, do you, do you have, do you ever, no, did you ever use some uh, ideas from your very beginning? I didn't do that. Uh, but uh, are you talking about uh, Raven's Cry stuff or oh, whatever? Have you ever used something uh, from your uh, musical uh, beginning? Uh, let me think. Well, maybe when I was 14 and I mm -hmm. start to uh, play with. Uh, we saw my friends and so I tried to um, form a band. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I use uh, a guitar riff that I wrote uh, at, at the beginning of my career uh, when I was mm -hmm. 13, so the, the, mm -hmm. one year before. But yeah, it, it doesn't work. It didn't work because... Uh, after all the arrangements and when uh, we, we understand we understand that uh, after the the song was complete that was totally a, a bad song so we just <laughs> gave up okay no up because that, yeah. uh, uh, I know that uh, our dear friend Paul uh, our uh, mm -hmm. uh, former guitar player uh, started to yeah. play guitar just with ideas and uh, because he's uh, originally he's a drummer but uh, um, mm -hmm. after some years of playing drums he, he wanted to play real notes not just like me <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he, he still has he still has some of uh, his uh, uh, first ideas and sometimes we, we use them, that's, that's interesting. But what's interesting is to talk about uh, uh, inspiration. Uh, Annika, how, how, 
your inspiration changed from uh, the beginning of your songwriting until right now? Inspiration? Uh, you mean making the songs or...? Uh... Yeah, making the songs, yeah. Well, I guess the inspiration comes with for those bands that I have listened. And it has changed, yeah. But um, but what is now? It it is um. Well, the inspiration comes from everyday life. Mm. Or uh, what what do you feel? What you have experienced, or, or some and everything like that. Yeah. Okay. From, okay. Yeah, it usually comes because I do the lyrics. Mm -hmm. to, to my band with Lassi, mm -hmm. our keyboard player. Um, so we do uh, lyrics together and sometimes mm -hmm. separately. So, yeah, sometimes the inspiration can come, the, the um, writing that Lassi has made and I have got some mm -hmm. ideas and then, then, then it comes up something. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. and uh, you talk about uh, to, uh, taking some lessons. Mm, how how long did you take lessons? Well, in these past twenty years, uh, I mm -hmm. have taking. I've been taking lessons now and then for a okay. couple of years there and a couple of years that. Uh, okay, uh, but now last year. I applied to music school. Uh, okay. Now I'm, I'm studying uh, pop and jazz singing. Okay, oh. cool. Cool. It's my second year there, so now I'm actually for my first time in my life actually um, having professional studies. Awesome. And did you Great. change many many teachers during the years? Sorry. Did you change uh, many, many teachers during the yeah. years? Yeah, because I have lived in different uh, cities, so the teachers have been different, yeah. Maybe okay. there has been something like uh, four or five different four or five in my, in my time, yeah. Okay, okay. And you are satisfied about it because of taking inspiration from one teacher for... Uh, one specific characteristic um, from another. Did you did you have this uh, sensation? Yeah, I think it's good that I have had a different teachers because everybody can gives you something new. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and and yeah, uh, actually, my first three or four teachers were um, that uh, classical teachers. Okay. Uh, I did my classical singing lessons, and for before I uh, uh, applied the school, uh, I had my first uh, pop and jazz singing lessons ever for uh, two mm -hmm. years. So. Whoa. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so you. Uh, you told us that you uh, you started taking lessons when you were sixteen, and which was the um, the inspiration for taking lessons? Do do you did you already uh, imagined yourself in a band playing uh, rock music, metal music, or did you have something different in your mind when you were? In, back in your sixteen. Actually, actually, I remember uh, when when I was uh, something like um, eight, nine, ten years old. Um, mm -hmm. I like to um, watch uh, singing contests on TV. There was different kind. There was contest okay. competitions for kids and for adults, mm -hmm. and I watched them all. And I was dreaming about that I would like to be there. And um, yeah, I think and when, uh, when I played with my uh, 
friends or maybe just by myself, uh, I usually play that I, I am a singer. Yeah. Putting awesome. my mother's uh, clothes and jewelry and high. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. So I, I was quite a young when I imagined that I would like to be on stage. Yeah. Oh, that's really great. Great. <laughs> Okay, and um, so uh, let's talk about becoming professional. Yeah. And I'm yeah. saying becoming professional with uh, this gesture because, uh, in our opinion, <laughs> becoming professional is not uh, a matter of uh, uh, just getting money from what you do, but yeah. uh, is also something about... Uh, uh, your mindset, your mindset about music. Yeah. So, uh, which was the spark that brought you to become a professional singer? Well, yeah, like I said, that um, I have always dreamed about being a singer. And, mm -hmm. well, I think it was then when I decided when I was 16, I decided, okay, now, now I'm going to have singing lessons and went to my mother and said, okay, could you, could it be possible to send me some lessons? And, and I think that was it. I was determined to, to uh, develop my singing and mm -hmm. that was it, I, I guess. Okay. Okay. And I guess that uh, uh, this idea developed since you were eight when you started to watch those uh, TV shows, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you get that was the I, I think that was your first spark, and then it developed, and then it became a, a fire when you were sixteen. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I realized that I can do this, and I. I noticed that okay, I have skills, so why not? I want to do. I want to do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. I think I think I had the the same process because I I was 16 actually when I wanted to uh, become a musician. Uh, I started mm -hmm. to to play drums when I was 10, but uh, it it was really a hobby at at that age, and I was enjoying playing with. Uh, some kids, but when I uh, when I um, became 16, I wanted to to become professional. And that for me it was because also of some bands that inspired me to um, to play better and better. And yeah. uh, so this brings us to the next question. That is, which are the albums and the bands that have influenced you the most during your musical growth? And also, which are the bands that brought you to um, uh, become a professional singer or to want to become so? Yeah, this could take a while. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no problem. Um, when, I was 10, <laughs> when I was 10, um, I listened Bon Jovi because my oh. older brother listened that. So I fell in love in John's uh, singing. And I guess, well, I sing along with him. I um, listened the cassettes over and over mm -hmm. again. And um, I think he was my first singing teacher, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, the Slippery When Wet and New Jersey and Keep the Fate were the albums that I listened the most. Mm -hmm. uh, and as a teenager, well, I still listened to Bon Jovi, but uh, mm -hmm. when uh, Alanis Morissette's uh, oh. album Second Little Pill came out, oh, awesome. I was, I was so awesome. Album. Yeah, uh, I really loved the, that there is these aggressive songs in it. The emotion that she comes, she sings uh, emotionally. So um, 
I was something like 15 or 16 and I listened that up quite a lot, especially when I was feeling angry or uh, had some negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it I, helped. And I, I wanted to sing like Alanis, so I started to uh -huh. sing with her <laughs> also. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, then, um, then I, when I first time I got into metal music, I was something like mm -hmm. 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend then uh, listened to it, and then um, then I just fell in love with it, the music. Mm -hmm. So, well, actually, now I remember the first time that I fell in love with the melancholic music was um, in our... Uh, uh, I was in elementary school. Our teacher mm -hmm. one, um, loved to um, listen classical music. And we, okay, we had to listen that quite much too in our lessons. And there was this, um, this, this, uh, Tommaso Albinoni. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this classical yeah, uh, composition. Yeah, yeah, Adagio, yeah. yeah. Adagio from yeah, Albinoni, yeah. yeah. And that was the first time <laughs> I, I uh, heard, I, I experienced that, uh, oh, this melancholic, oh, this is so cool. So, <laughs> so I was something 10 or 11 okay. I, okay. at that time. But yeah, uh, in my um, uh, young adulthood, I started to uh, listen metal and mm -hmm. um, there was well uh, bands like well in flames mm -hmm. uh, wow Columbia, yes Clayton, of course Ruru to remain they were uh, I listened to those very much also soil work um, yeah Dim uh, mm -hmm. okay Darkness, Triumph. Triumphant and um, what else? Well, then uh, 2003, it, um, Evanescence. Okay. The Golden mm -hmm. album came out. And yeah, of course, the Catherine Anneke. I love Anneke. <laughs> yeah. I listen to those albums, uh, Mandalion, uh, Nighttime Birds. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Finnish bands like Nightwish. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Just a few to me mention. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. We, we have a lot of co in common because uh, I love Jack Little Pill from Alanis. Yeah. Uh, and also, album, one of the best album in the 90s, in my opinion. And uh, also, uh, Bon Jovi is really important to me because. Uh, um, yeah, to me too. The first, let's call the first professional job that I had it was to play uh, It's My Life in a, a kid contest. <laughs> or, uh, when it was, I was, I was, I was 14 and uh, I went on, on a local TV, and uh, it, that, that was the first time that uh, my mom was excited about what uh, I was doing with music because. I was on TV, so that was amazing for her. <laughs> but yeah. that, that song means means a lot for me. And yeah. uh, of course, of all the other metal band uh, that you mentioned are really important for us as well. We we um, produced al our um, preview our albums, our last albums with uh, Roberto Laghi, which is mm -hmm. one of the producer for In Flames. Because we we mm -hmm. were stunned by the the production of uh, uh, River to Remain, and so yeah, we, we wanted to have that sound and that's yeah. great. And uh, of course, Nightwish, The Gathering, uh, awesome, awesome band. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a fun fact about Bon Jovi <laughs> because you know. Uh, I think every every person just discovered him and his band with Living on a Prior. 
but mm -hmm. I I discovered him with It's My Life because I saw the official video on MTV many, many years ago and I was captured by the video because there is this guy that have to go to Bon Jovi concert and he, he has a lot of adventure and strange situation. For example, he fall down from a bridge. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it, it, was, it yeah. was great. It was a great official video. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you were inspired from that because you are so young, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I maybe was 10. You were 10, <laughs> probably, when the phone yeah. came out. Uh, yeah. uh, don't get me wrong, I I'm still 10 inside. <laughs> yeah, we, we all have our inner child. <laughs> yeah, I'm still yeah. shy. Yeah. Uh, Annika, uh, have you ever uh, watched live one of uh, those bands that you mentioned? Yeah, well, yeah, the uh, huge experience was when I saw Bon Jovi when I was uh, 15 or 16 mm -hmm. in Helsinki. Yeah, it, me and my two friends were there and um, it was something amazing. Uh, yeah. I, can, I can imagine. Yeah. And, and the Lannis, have you ever watched the Lannis live? No. I'm, no. It's a pity, yeah, I it's haven't. Yeah, me neither. But uh, I really would like to see her live once. But I think it she was really interesting to see back in the last nineties with Taylor Rockins on the drum, the drummer from uh, from Foo Fighter, Foo who, Fighters. who played. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Rockins played with Alanis. He he actually became famous famous with uh, with Alanis Morissette. And yeah. Dave Grohl, yeah, yeah Dave Grohl uh, wanted to, uh, Taylor Rockies because uh, he played with so much energy with uh, Alanis on the Jagged Little Pin album and uh, on the tours with her. So, a yeah. great inspiration uh, for yeah. everybody. Uh, what is it? Yeah. I, uh, Alanis I, was I, here. I, yeah. Sorry. No, no, no problem. Go on. Go on. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, well, actually, I just remember that Alanis was uh, here in Finland maybe in two or three years ago. Couldn't make it. Yeah. Actually, it was in Pori, where is where our band is. So. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. you really miss? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I I have another fun fact about Hawkins. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Hawkins. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tell us. Because uh, I I read on a on a on a site I don't know where but uh, yeah it was uh, that girl just ask him hey man did, do you know some good drummer for my new project and uh, he answered yes me <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fun fact yeah it's yeah. a really good drama it's great i think it's one of the best right now uh, he, he has a lot of energy he, yeah he, he can transmit that energy so i i love that kind of drama um maybe he's not that uh it's not that technical like some other drummers but he has his personality so he's good is good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, Shall we move on, Fede? Uh, yeah, we have a comment and, uh, sorry, a greeting for Matthew, who says, hey, Morning, everyone. Hope you're well. We are well. Thank you. And another comment from Yanni about the technical issues that oh, okay. Anika and yeah. <laughs> some times ago, some minutes ago. Yeah, he's, she's back. Yeah, and yeah, we can go on. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. So, uh, we just talked uh, about, about you, about your career, about your uh, beginning. And now, 
I think it's a good time to talk about uh, uh, your band. So, yeah. talking about Memoria, uh, how it was born, what are the story and the concept behind the project? Yeah, well, actually, I've been in Memoria for a bit over two years. So, mm -hmm. Memoria uh, actually <clears throat> was formed in 2007. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I asked Lassie about the about the um, how it was born and the story about it. So I'm gonna read it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, is, um, well, uh, Memoir was uh, well at the time in 2007. Uh, they began to head uh, towards more metal sound and mm -hmm. delivery. The symphonic stuff was something that they felt good about, and the material mm -hmm. they wrote came through very naturally. And so here we are now. <laughs> so that's the story behind behind okay. it. But yeah. They okay. they made two albums. And this is the third one, the Carnival of okay. Creation that we released. Last month, yeah. Okay, okay, that's perfect. So, a uh, new album just released. Uh, yeah. Check it out, check it out, guys. Yeah. So, check it out. Uh, check Spotify, it out. So, everywhere, all over. Okay, <laughs> you can find also uh, Memorial, Memorial first, Memorial last uh, um, video, Shooting Star, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. On, on YouTube, so you can you can check out uh, anything of them, and here below you can find uh, the links or the links to the check social out social media, the social yeah. media. Yeah, Absolutely. and we also we have also the social media of Anika. Yeah, of course. So you so can you share. can check out whatever she's up to, whatever Annika is going to do with her musical career. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, so you just released the album and uh, let's talk about the songwriting process of the band. Uh, what's the songwriting process? How do you usually come up with your ideas? Well, yeah, uh, usually Yanni, our guitarist, and Lassi, our keyboard player, uh, they mm -hmm. do the um, basses first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then uh, Lassi and I uh, started, start to uh, do the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And of course, when we go to rehearsals, uh, then mm -hmm. the whole band uh, will uh, arrange the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is usually how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. So you write the lyrics and uh, can you talk a little bit about them? What do you talk about usually in your lyrics? Yeah, well, yeah the, uh, they, they usually are uh, something that I have maybe experienced well not all some sometimes it's fiction but it mm -hmm. um it, it is always comes up with some emotion that okay. i have and yeah from everyday life okay so you yeah. just get it to uh from what you perceive you you don't have any particular ritual that you do to get inspired or something that i don't know maybe like having a walk or some of our guests uh, meditate to have some inspiration. Some of them just have inspiration from everyday life and they get inspired and just write something immediately to uh, fix, not, not to fix, to um, hold that idea and to use it again for the song. How do you do that usually? Well, yeah, if I, well, sometimes I just, it 
maybe it comes out of the blue some good a line and I write it down mm -hmm. and then maybe use it later or or maybe it's a mm -hmm. line that brings the whole uh, uh, the all the lyrics uh, the whole song um, but yeah uh, it, it helps when you well I like to go out for a walk in in the forest mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. it's really relaxing and and um yeah you can get ideas then but sometimes it just comes out you hear some word maybe and then oh i could use this if <laughs> and then yeah. you just have to be quick, quick and write it down so you don't forget it <laughs> okay okay it's like an insight you have an insight and you just want to to write yeah. it down that's yeah. awesome okay and um do you play any other instrument besides well, not, singing? Well, no, actually. Well, I'm trying to, um, well, because I'm in this, the music school now, so I have a taking uh, piano lessons. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I, well, a little bit piano maybe, but nothing else. Okay, so you write your vocal lines just with your voice. You usually... Or write them yeah. just your with your voice. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. yeah, but of course, yes, I can check the uh something with the piano, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually. Oh, yeah. Okay. So usually you, you get the basis from your bandmates and you start to uh jam on that with your voice, or do you usually do that actually in the rehearsals? Uh well. The situation is that um, I live in a different city than the guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, just so like us. They rehearse, so they they train together more, and and mm -hmm. I go there maybe once in a month because okay. the distance is um, mm -hmm. over three hundred kilometers. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have to travel there by train. Yeah. Um, yeah. uh, well, I do the, the, when our, when we are doing new songs, uh, I do the, the melodies here at my home mm -hmm. and then we just send to each other <laughs> those because nowadays it's so easy. <laughs> so that yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's Ooh. talk. Uh, about the live situation, the uh, the live experience. Uh, do you remember your first live performance with Memoira? Uh, oh, yeah. How it was? Uh, yeah, because well, I remember because it was only uh, two years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I've been in uh, in the band for uh, two years. Uh, it was in uh, Memoira's hometown, Bori, and it went well. Of course, I was really excited and a bit nervous also because uh, because the the band had this break for uh, four or five years, and this was the first performance for a long time. So I think mm -hmm. the expectations were high <laughs> or something. So, <laughs> so everybody was um, excited. Yeah, but it went well. Yeah, there was uh, there was people watch uh, come to see us, and uh, mm -hmm. we had a great time. Yeah. Okay, that, that's that was... good. And uh, uh, do you also remember your first live ever? First live <laughs> ever. Uh, It depends what counts. You know, um, I was in when I was something like well, sixteen or uh, seventeen. There mm -hmm. was this. Um, well, I don't say don't I don't know what it's called in English. It's a kind of Finnish kind of pop music, uh, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. like music. Yeah. And I was in that band. Uh, singing these very old Finnish songs. So, okay. 
and and actually it was the first time that I got paid for singing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was okay. something like so, hundred euros. It was not quite bad. Not I bad. Singing, so, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool, cool. Oh. Uh, but we <laughs> we were about to ask you which was your best live performance ever, but since you told us that your first live performance you gained 400 euros, in my opinion, that was the best I one. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but I have to... I never like, got I money help. for... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, no, I'm just I just, kidding. I, I, I'm I talking about the, the, the best performance where you uh, enjoyed the stage and the audience the most. Yeah, well, yeah, I have one, and this is quite a long story too. But, um, well, I, uh, the best performance and actually experience that I have mm -hmm. uh, so far. Was uh, when I covered covered the singer from Silentium, mm -hmm. and um, we were opening act uh, in a mm -hmm. Nightwish concert. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It was held in here in Finland, in oh, Jämsä, oh. and uh, it was the it was year 2016. Um, okay, it mm -hmm. was the Endless Forms Most Beautiful tour. And it was Nightwish's um, last concert. And mm -hmm. well, yeah, it, the experience was amazing because mm -hmm. actually we get to play with other support bands like Delane, Arch Enemy, wow. Sonata Arctica. So yeah, yeah it was so... a huge experience. And of course, Great there was a up. lot of people there. So... Mm -hmm. At a big stage where to uh, where to uh, perform, so yeah, that was it has been the best yeah. okay. experience so far. Great. Was it a little bit scary or not? Well, it was. It was <laughs> scary, but because the stage was so huge, actually, mm -hmm. when we get on the stage. It, it the um, all the fear and that disappeared because mm -hmm. there was only this uh yeah well the bigger the stage is the less nervous you are i i guess because oh, cool. when, it, when when the place is small the it's more intense then so mm -hmm. it may be a bit more scary <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. how, how, how many people were there? Well, well, because we were the opening at the, the all the people weren't there, but I, I guess it was five thousand or something. And, oh, and when, uh, when night we, it was sold out, and it was it oh. ten thousand people there at the end. Okay. Yeah, the end. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess Great. we have some question from our friend uh, Matthew uh, Fede, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Before we have uh, a comment from Tanya, already okay. check it out. I like it so far. It is hard to listen to right now because I have a migraine. I will look into it more later. Yeah. Okay. And check it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully and you get better soon. The, yeah. And then we have the question from our friend Matthew. Anika, I wonder if there is any meaning of significance behind the band name. Hmm. Well, actually, I don't know, but was it like that that um they kind of uh, when they um, when they were thinking about the band's name, they mm -hmm. somehow just got stuck to this uh, memory, memora, or maybe it came out something 
like that. I'm not mm -hmm. sure because I I wasn't then in the band. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's a word game, word game with memory and uh, Moira, which is uh, a Greek name for destiny. Faith. Ah, you, okay, maybe you, that's yeah. Maybe you should ask your bandmates, I but I think it's Lassie and Yanni. Yeah. I, I think or it's if you're watching Yanni or Lassi, you can tell us. <laughs> Comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay, okay. Let's move on. Yes. So, uh, what are the plans for you and Memoria in the near future? Well, yeah, we we are starting to make new music, of course. Maybe to have some single out next year in the uh, in the beginning beginning of the 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, and we are planning planning when the situation gets better. I hope. Uh, well, when it does, we we definitely want to go on tour. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. And we are planning that. And um, yeah, it's pretty much that. And of course, some other things like um, live streams or something we mm -hmm. would like to do until we can have real live shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we had uh, of course the same situation because we also released our last album in, in the first during the first lockdown, and yeah. we really wanted to um, promote the album doing a tour and connecting yeah. with the people live, but we couldn't do yeah. that. But we are trying to do the best with what. We have so we are writing some new music in the meanwhile, and uh, yeah. at the same time we we are just doing something like this uh, this live that we are doing right now to to keep some yeah. company to the people because yeah. you know yeah. you know it's an hard time from for everybody we are on the same we are all on the same page so we have to uh, stay strong and to. Mm -hmm. Use music for its uh, very specific purpose, which is to um, enjoy life, enjoy uh, art, and to, um, yeah. you know, get some beauty from life. At least when you can't do anything else. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Okay, okay. I will want to bring a new song on the stage. <laughs> uh, we have to be patient. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Like, I'm a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit hard, but yeah, we just have to adapt in this yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. And find a new way to uh, yeah. be connected with, with our fans. And staying and connected, yeah. 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 That's Absolutely. But also, this is a very good chance to meet some new people. It's awesome to meet yeah. you. Yeah, your show, show. This is really great that you have this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We did a lot uh, of friends during these live chats. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We met a lot of new people, or, or new, new friends. Of uh, new friends. Yeah. Yes. Like. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about. Um, any side projects? Do you have any side projects besides Memoria? Yes, well, uh, actually, me and my husband, we, we do music together. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, we have this cover um, duo. And, um, well, mainly pop and rock covers. And then mm -hmm. we do our own music also, pop music. And actually, we have this black metal project also so, awesome yeah very, very a different kind of <laughs> uh, and, um, and yeah uh, I do uh, guest vocaling time to time okay yeah and um, then 
I have this um, CCR cover band also. We had some gigs, but yeah, where the COVID uh, situation came, so um, well, of course, those yeah <laughs> have uh, well, yeah, haven't been a while. But actually, we we had the one gig uh, last mm -hmm. month because the situation was a bit better. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we had the gig in in my hometown. It, it, it's a little town in central Finland. Uh, okay, with uh, we had this uh, cover duo gig. So yeah, I I have one experience in in this year. Okay, <laughs> performing, yay! <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, yeah, that it. That's all. Yeah. So of course oh. we have the bands in the school that we need to attend and, and join. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of music is going on <laughs> in my life. Awesome. You you also Great. told us that you are studying uh, jazz, isn't it? Yeah, pop and jazz singing. Yeah, and so the jazz is yeah we are studying and that. Do you have a jazz project also? Yeah. <laughs> Well, not exactly. No, no. Um, how do you say it? the jazz music is? Well, it's nice, but um, I haven't um, got into it that much mm. yet. So I just do right now. I just do what I need to do in the school. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. But actually. <laughs> I'm going, I'm having this um, Argentine tango course, and I'm really excited about it. Argentine tango? Yeah, but, I think uh, it's, it's great. But dancing? It's dancing course or a singing course? I have to sing Portuguese, I guess. You have to, sorry? Sorry, uh, I, sorry I didn't I need to hear that. Yeah, I guess... I have to. Oh no! Oh, sorry, Spanish. Yeah, um, they yeah they speak Spanish in Argentina. Yeah, Spanish songs. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So you so you are yeah. singing in Spanish. Well, I have Spanish? studied a little bit, but. Okay. Okay. Not not that good to speak speak it. Yeah, <laughs> but. Maybe, yeah, I can sing it, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that course. It's coming next week. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, Fede, should we move on? Let me check. Uh, oh, we have a greeting for Miko right now. Hi, Miko. Hi, you Hi, Miko. all. I'm uh, greeting from Finland. Yes. <laughs> I can't pronounce your surname. Sorry, man. Kitim. Is it correct? Kitim Maki? Yes. Kitim Maki. Yeah. It's quite correct. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we've been in Finland actually as a band for a tour back in 2011. Yeah. Uh, which uh, cities you were? We played in uh, Oulu and in uh, Rovaniemi for oh, the tour of our first album. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. I, I love your country. Beautiful. Thank A lot you. of nature yeah. and I, I love the, the people as well. So <laughs> kind people. They helped us a lot with our tour and uh, we really want to come back one day. Yeah. Of course. We did a, a, a let's need to say, a, a Scandinavian tour. Ah, it could be awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. We, we <laughs> did a, a tour in Sweden and in Finland. So we, we did um, a good amount of gigs in Sweden and just those two in Finland, but it was really great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a. a Yo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Was uh, it in the winter when you were? Uh, it here? was uh, in autumn. It was uh, between October and November. 
we oh. we didn't uh, find uh, snow actually, oh. but <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, it was a shame, but uh, in another way, in the other way, it was good because we were driving a huge uh, van with uh, a roulotte attached to him. It was a, yeah. a yeah. 12, 12, 12 meter uh, long and uh, uh, we were driving it. So I think it could be really tough if there were some snow on the on the road so maybe when we will come back with a tour bus driving us uh, for the next yeah. uh, tour it would be better <laughs> absolutely yes. yeah. yeah absolutely uh, yeah you should come uh, yeah uh, okay yeah this is off topic but we have a really funny comment from tanya about my way of drinking <laughs> And that's uh, this is rather off topic, but every single one of these I watch, Fede has a glass of water, presumably. Yes, it is. And he's drink it in small sips. Occasionally, he pours from a bottle to refill, but it, but he only pours a little bit, so the glass always appears to be mostly empty. With only quick glimpses of it, it al almost seems like the glass never changed volume the entire time. Just found it amusing <laughs> that photo would be shared. Thank you. <laughs> and we have a lot of comments from Miko who says Yeah, it's it's fiction. And and Memoria is also a good band. We know. And there is a question from Miko too who is, how are you all day or today? Uh, I'm good. Pretty fine. And you, yeah. man? And I'm well, good, but I don't know, it's very cold. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How, how many degrees? How many degrees right now in Finland? Uh, today, I don't know, maybe something like seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we have here in Italy, we have, let me check. Uh, okay, it disappeared. <laughs> that's, that's good. I don't know how many degrees we have here in Italy, but it's rainy, so it's cold. Yeah, but yeah. I, I guess it's warmer than, uh, than Finland. I remember that we were in Finland yeah. about <laughs> in this period. Back in 2011, it yeah, was, oh. it was it was cold actually. Yeah. So uh, uh, we, anyway, yeah, yeah. Then, we have we have other comments. Okay. One, uh, them, greeting for them. Dax. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dax. hey man, our friend from Australia. And uh, yeah, and we have another comment from Miko. Nika, is you familiar with such a place in Finland as Yastaro, Finland, which is close to, whew, gosh, Senayoki in Finland. Senayoki, yeah. thank you so much, yeah. in Finland. Mm, well, actually, I haven't been in Ulistaro, so I'm not familiar uh, with that town. But yeah, Seinäjoki is uh, is familiar town to me. Yeah, I've been there. There is this uh, Provinci Rock, Provinci Rock mm -hmm. uh, festival there, so been there many times. Yeah. Good. And um, we have another comment from Tanya about my way of drinking. Sorry, now everyone will probably watch you every time you take a drink. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> every time, always. One person watch me when I'm drinking. Right. By the way, we can move on, I think, Simon, after okay. my stupid comment. So we have um, a funny question about uh, your spare time. What do you do in uh, your spare time? So which are your hobbies and interests besides music? 
Well, yeah, obviously the music fulfills my whole time, but when I have, when I do something else. <laughs> um, now it's well, full. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I love to go to walks in, yeah, especially in, in the forest. Yeah, it clears my mind and relaxes. And then, well, one thing that I could say, it's my hobby. It's, it's um, that I'm trying to do food like MasterChef. Oh, you know, great. Uh, uh, one of my favorite is MasterChef Australia. And oh. um, I've been trying to improve my cooking skills by looking at the program and trying to do, do uh, food like they do. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it, it's what I'm interested about. Yeah. Okay. And is it working? Are you satisfied about the yeah. result? I have, actually, we have also my husband likes cooking. So, uh, yeah, we have improved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, which is your best uh, dish? Well, maybe now that we have learned to do Thai food, so mm -hmm. I guess some Thai food with chicken or... Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And of course, yeah, some... Well... <laughs> We can't have we can't have that kind of ingredients like they do in Australia mm -hmm. because yeah 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 of course so, so it's um it's or it it would be really ex expensive but yeah some scallops or something that we have done they have been really good yeah okay okay just out of curiosity which is the uh, most important or the best a finished dish. Oh, you stole another my question. Finished dish. Okay, <clears throat> what would it be? Well, I'm. I'm sorry, but we don't have uh, that. Well, that's my. This is my opinion, but we don't have this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this food culture. Okay. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, there is some traditional foods, but mm. I really have to admit that they're not that good. So, that's the reason. That's the reason. That's the truth. So, um, <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason why you you start to. That's why I try to do food like they do in Australia or Italy or. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Your food are beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, do, did you discover something else during the lockdown? Something new that you enjoyed that you could do, Jerry Finland? I don't know. When I was in the lockdown, I discovered a lot of uh, new TV series, movies, and also yeah. I, I started to work out. Uh, I started to uh, meditate in a different way. Did you do something like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we discovered, uh, yeah, also, yeah, uh, those series, new, new series that oh, series that we haven't watched before. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, I was studying during the lockdown. We did it yeah. from a distance, yeah, okay. through a computer. So I had working to do. So, and also, I went to my workplace. Well, uh, well, I'm studying now, but I have a job. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have this. I'm free from the working <laughs> right now because mm -hmm. I'm studying. Uh, but I went back to when my studies ended in uh, May. Then I went mm -hmm. back to to work. Mm -hmm. So I was busy with working. Yeah. Also, okay. uh, I'm doing a child in a. I'm working in a childcare. Um, okay. 
so uh, what is called um i'm a family worker you know i okay. go to families and help them yeah okay okay great so the situation was better in summer so we yeah more, we had yeah. masks but we we could do our Cheers too yeah, yeah. but yeah okay. well, yeah but of course there was time to do something in our house to uh fix something you know and there is always when you have this house you have always something to do so the yeah, time yeah, yeah. Also with with that yeah okay okay great so we are at the end sadly um, we we usually yeah. Yeah, Fede, do we have some comments? Do you want to say something? Yeah, from Miko. Two comments again from Miko. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then we can go on. Uh, one is this. I live in Star of Finland, little village. It's And if I can tell you and also you, Anika, where you learn English well, and that is when I watch all... American movies with English subtitles about it, then I miss my English skill. And then we have, okay, another, I think it's a question. If it may ask what you all are think this band, what is from Sweden, the outed? Yeah, I know them. It is yeah. our own band, but I know yet are seeing that band geek live ever maybe someday see that band gig yeah i think it's the the band uh, where ola england play guitar if mm -hmm. not wrong yeah uh and also miko's telling us his favorite song from the outed band favorite song of the outed band is eight song are you all hear it song and uh, nika is in it a bad thing where winter comes to finland in the month's time that they don't mm -hmm. like winter time at all yeah, yeah. well actually it's... uh uh the haunted i know the band but uh actually i haven't listened to it that much so yeah it's 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 heavy metal band yeah yeah, yeah, you know, all our England, it's, uh, I Great think, it, it's yeah. a really g good guitar player and is sort of uh, master to uh, uh, to um, play every single amp, for example, a Fender amp, and uh, sound like heavy metal. Yeah, it's it's particular uh, gift, I think, <laughs> about him. So. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, out of band, it's our Zoom band, by the way. Thank you, Miko. Yeah. And I think he was talking about winter. He's a little, a little upset about the winter because we were talking about yeah. the weather a little yeah. bit before. But I winter don't know how the coming. winter yeah. is coming. Yeah. I you guess it's really yeah. tough there in Finland, but also I imagine it's also magical because of the landscapes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. when when you have a lot of snow, it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, 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 I love actually that. because it's so uh, um, it's so dark here in win winter. We, oh, we okay. can't see the sun for only a few hours per day. Yeah, so yeah. the snow gives you more uh, uh, light. Yeah, 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 cool. Maybe so, it's, it's maybe it's a stupid question, but uh, are there reindeers in Finland? Yeah, yeah in Lapland. Yeah, not here. Oh. Uh, here in the central Finland where I live, but yeah, uh -huh. in Lapland. I, oh, I, I, we yeah. when we were on tour, Fede, when what wasn't with us yet? Because we, we mm -hmm. were with our former guitar player, we actually um, met them uh, on the road. Yeah. They, they crossed the road. They were so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I I was so excited. I almost cried because uh, it was the first time that <laughs> I, I I saw 
uh, reindeer in the nature it was amazing. It, it was like, yeah, they just yeah. they don't mind the cars. They just they can lay lay down on the road, and they just they are just there, and that uh, the. Uh, the car have to wait until they go away and stuff like that. So they yeah, own, yeah. own the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we are near to the end. We usually end our live chat with a final yeah. speech. Would you like to say something to our friends, Annika? Yeah. Yeah, uh, this has been really nice to, so it, it was really cool that you invite me here. Thank you Thanks for that. You. Thanks you. Um, and um, of course, thank all of you that you ha that have watched this and com uh, give us a comment. Thank you. And um, then, uh, of course, I want to thank all our fans we have had a lot of support and feedback it's my phone <laughs> okay. sorry so, no problem um yeah for for you guys that you haven't if somebody is there and haven't uh heard us yet so go to our uh Go to Spotify. Yeah, that is uh, really important. Check to out. Go, go there and um, follow us there. <laughs> and of course, to uh, Facebook and Instagram, follow us there. Um, actually, we have also a um, new website. It's um, oh. www.memoiraband.com. Yeah. Okay. So um, okay. you can, for example, uh, buy T-shirts and CDs from there if you are interested. So check it out. Support music, guys. Yes, it's important. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, especially in these hard times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So is the website. For Memoria? Yes. So check it That's out. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. We will also write it down on the uh, description of, uh, of the video once it will be uh, released. And uh, on YouTube, of course. And uh, thanks so much, so much to you. Uh, Thank Annika. you, guys. It was really nice. Uh, it you was are great. Good very very kind and nice uh person so thank you so much it was awesome to to meet you and uh, so yeah. guys check out everything you can from uh, memoira remember to support music also yes. uh, remember to subscribe to our youtube channel uh, so you can be updated on our next uh, live chat with some uh, new music to discover and uh, that's it. Have a an awesome day, everybody. Yeah. Take care. Take Bye, care. guys. Take care. Yeah, Absolutely. Take care. Stay safe.